Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome to Being Guru Analytical Channel. This is Majib Raza video with another series in the PSG programming course. Today we will see how we can program uh, a motor forward reverse programming inside the PLC. So let's uh, take one uh, motor uh, which is three phase and uh, we want to operate this motor in forward and reverse direction. So for uh, forward we will take uh, Y0 contactor and Y1 we will take for the reverse operation. Then we have uh, push button X0, X1 and X2. At X0 uh, if our push button uh, is connected which is used for forward operation at x1 we have the push button connected which is used for reverse operation at x2 we have the push button which is used for the stop operation so before moving to for the programming if you are new on the channel so hit the subscribe button and turn on notification to receive the channel updates so now let's start so this is a new program we will write class 11 in the program title and we will take the PLC let's take uh, SS so click OK I will maximize the ladder so initially we have to program for the forward operation and I will use the timer uh, because in the forward and reverse uh, operation operating of the motor we have to uh, give some delay because if my motor is running in the forward direction and when I press the reverse so it will take some time to stop the motor so I will take one second delay timer so let's start I will take one uh, start push button this will be for the forward operation so I will write forward push button I will click ok then I will take timer so TMR T0 K10 so it will be for one second delay I will click ok TMR K T0 K10. We click OK. So the timer is added. Now I will take the contact of this timer. So after one second, my uh, forward contactor should turn on. So I will take the contact. I will take T0, and it will be for a forward operation. I will click OK. Then I will take output from here. I will take Y0, and it will be forward contactor. I click OK. Then for the stop, I will add one uh, NC contact here. It will be X2 stop push button. I will click OK. Then I will uh, go for the now when I pr uh, press the forward push button, this timer will start after one second delay. This contact will close and it will turn on the motor in the forward direction but I will have to uh, latch the contact because this is the push button when I release so the motor sh should still move in the forward direction so I will add one latching contact here it will be Y0 like here and I will connect it here then I will uh, make the same program for the reverse so I will take contact I will take X1 reverse operation I will click OK then I will uh, take the timer TMR this time I will take timer T1 then K10 click OK so the timer is added so I will take the contact of this timer that contact will be T1 reverse operation I will click OK then I will take out Y1 reverse contactor so the Y1 will be connected to the reverse contactor I will click OK then same I will use the stop push button also here X2 click OK here I will uh, also use the leaching contact for Y1 so I will take another contact this time I will take Y1 I will click OK and I will connect it here ok so now what happened if I press X0 it will move in the forward direction but when I press reverse push button X1 so it will also it will not move to the reverse contract because uh, this 
these rungs have no contact with these rungs so i will i have to interlock it at one time only one operation should work like either reverse or either forward so i will take one timer nc contact here and one latching contact here so i will take nc for this one for y0 i will take y1 click ok and also i will take this timer also i will take nc i will take t1 click ok same i will do here i will take nc y0 click ok and i will use nc of the timer t0 okay so now uh, it's end i will write here e and d and i will end my logic so now what i will do i will uh, run the simulator then i will put the vlc in the online mode put the vlc in the run mode now this is the forward push button this is the reverse push button and this x2 is the stop push button so stop push button is common for all forward and reverse and now let's appropriate our motor in the forward so i will turn this on this case start the motor is running in the forward direction so i will release the push button so the motor is still running due to this latching contact so if i if i press this reverse so this latching contact will disconnect and stop the motor in the forward operation and this case zero counting will start and it will run my motor in the reverse so let's see if i turn it on this timer starts and this is now running in the reverse direction so if i turn it on if i turn it off the motor is still running in the reverse operation so this is how you can uh, program the forward and reverse uh, operation of the motor inside the plc let's one see one time again if I turn it on motor is running in the forward if i release this push button and if i turn uh, if i press the reverse push button this time will start and this will go so this is how you can uh, program forward reverse operation if you uh, press the stop push button from anywhere so it will stop the motor so this is for today i hope you like the video if you like like uh, and share and if you didn't subscribe to the channel so subscribe now see you soon in the next video thank you